Bill and Ben, the twin engines, work between the China Clay Works and Brendam Docks at the end of Edwards Branch Line. Like most harbors, Brendam is a very busy place, so Bill and Ben always have lots to do. But they're never too busy to have fun with the other engines, especially Boko the diesel. One morning, the shed foreman was looking at Bill and Ben as they were preparing for work. Hmm, nameplates could do with a good polish, he said to the drivers. I'll take them off and give them a rub down while it's quiet. This gave Bill an idea. Let's play a trick on Boko, he whispered to Ben. When Boko arrived in the harbor, there were freight cars all over the place, very easy for small engines to hide amongst. Bill? Ben? Where are you? called Boko. Yoo-hoo! Over here! a voice replied. Boko saw a flash of yellow across the yard. Who's that? It's me, Ben! I've brought your cars! Well, stay there! I'm coming over! Boko had just started across the yard when he heard another whistle from the other side. No, I'm over here, said a cheeky voice. Again, Boko headed towards whom he thought was Ben. But before he arrived, Not there, Boko, I'm over here. Oh dear, not again, groaned Boko. He tried to work out who was who, but with no nameplates, it was impossible. The twins thought it was a great joke and wouldn't stop calling and whispering to him. At last, Boko lost patience. Look, whoever has got my cars, will you please bring them over to me? I don't have time for this. In the end, the twins gave in and gave Boko his cars. Spoil sport, they cheeked. It was only a bit of fun. When Boko arrived at Wellsworth, he met Edward and told him all about the twins. They wouldn't find it funny if someone played tricks on them all the time, he grumbled. How true, said Edward. And then he smiled. Actually, I've got an idea. Listen to this. Later that day, Bill and Ben were at the docks again when Edward arrived. You two had better behave yourselves. We've got a visitor due shortly. Ooh, said the twins. Who is it? It's another diesel, just like Boko. He's from the mainland, but he works on a heritage line. A heritage line? asked Ben. Yes, said Edward. Like Stepney on the Bluebell Railway. He's heard all about you two, and he's coming to give Boko a hand. But he's very strict, so mind your P's and Q's. Mind our what? asked Bill. He means no more tricks, laughed their drivers. Come along, back to work. Bill and Ben scuttled off, while Edward smiled to himself. All afternoon, the twins kept a lookout for Boko's twin. They waited all evening. And when night came, their visitor still hadn't arrived. I reckon Edward was pulling our wheels, said Ben, as they went back to their shed. Yeah, agreed Bill. I reckon Boko's twin doesn't exist at all. Oh, yes I do, boomed a loud voice. Bill and Ben jumped. Uh, who's that? They quivered. I'm Kobo, Boko's twin, and you must be Bill and Ben. I've heard a lot about you two, and I know exactly how to deal with naughty engines like you. Unless you do as you're told and get my cars ready at 8 o'clock sharp tomorrow morning. Is that clear? Then, without waiting for an answer, the diesel rumbled away. Bill and Ben were unusually quiet that night. The next morning, at exactly 8 o'clock, Bill and Ben arrived at Brendam with their cars. Creeping into the yard, they found a diesel waiting for them. But who was it? Uh, excuse me, said Ben nervously. Are you Boko or Kobo? Don't worry, it's only me. 
chuckled Boko. Did you see my twin last night? Um, sort of, said Bill. Edward was right. He was very strict. And loud, added Ben. Did he sound like this? Boomed Boko. And then he began to laugh, loud and long. Suddenly the twins understood. So it was you! So your twin doesn't exist after all! Yes, it was me, said Boko when he had recovered. I couldn't resist. Although Driver says there is another Diesel like me, and he does work on a heritage line over on the mainland. But I don't know what he's like. Still, if he does pay a visit one day, we'll find out then, won't we? Bill and Ben rather hoped that they wouldn't. <laughs>